Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. Take them out. Wait! Don't kill me, I surrender! Tell me where the Quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's lying. Put a round in his leg. See if he talks. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Impossible. The Shadow Broker only works through his agents. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Too many people died here, Fist. You don't get to walk away. This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. He shouldn't have killed those investigators. This problem isn't gonna go away. We won't let you take Father Kyle away! He protects us. We need him. One way or another, I'll find a way in. Father Kyle told us that the Alliance wouldn't let us live in peace. This is your last warning. Go away or we will defend ourselves. Father Kyle told us that the Alliance wouldn't let us live in peace. This is your last warning. Go away or we will defend ourselves. The compound is under attack! <laughs> Stop! Let no more of my children die. There has been enough killing. This... this is not what I wanted. You're just like the ones who came before. Why can't the Alliance just leave us alone? Somebody has to pay for killing those Alliance officers, Major. They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. I didn't come here to listen to a madman's preaching. I speak, but you do not hear. You are like the others. A blasphemer who must die! Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies? But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Change of plans. A change, but the doctor... I don't... This is not right, human. Shut up, Moreland. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? 
Who are you? Leave the doctor alone, or you'll have to deal with me. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. That secret dies with you. Then we do this the hard way. Hello again, Commander Shepard. I owe you a debt of gratitude. With my former partners dead, this syndicate is now mine. I could not have done it without you. I killed them because they deserve it. Now I'm placing you under arrest. Surely you don't think that necessary. Under my leadership, this organization will restrict itself to gambling and smuggling illegal technologies. These crimes are hardly worth your time. If you press the issue, my assistants are very well equipped to deal with you. So am I, ma'am. If you won't come peacefully, I'll have no choice. A pity. Neutralize the Spectre! See how it is? You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish the charade? Please! I was trying to help you people! I think I'll just kill you instead. Thank you for dealing with the hostage situation, Commander. Chairman Burns' death was regrettable, but I trust you did everything you could to save him. Your assistance above and beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. Fifth Fleet out. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Saleon. What? My name is Hart! Dr. Hart! Please, get me out of here! Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me! Put him out of his misery so we can get going. Gladly. Your days of butchering are over, Doctor. No! Please! Please! Now it gets fun! That was... satisfying. Good. Remember that feeling. That's how it should be. I will, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here. Stay back! I've got no grief with you. All I want is this bastard. Please! He's a madman! Mr. Toombs, you're insane! You need help! Shut up! You don't get to lie! You don't... Shepard? My god, Shepard, is that you? Corporal Tombs? But... I saw you die on a coos. How did you get here? They took me, Shepard. The scientists. You can't prove any of this. This man is delusional. See, they were running tests on the Thresher Maws. They let those things hit us just to watch and study. I woke up in a holding cell. The scientists were delighted I'd survived. Now they had someone to run tests on. Tombs, I... I didn't see anybody. If I'd seen you, I'd have come back for you, I swear. You can't believe Tombs! He doesn't have any proof! I demand a fair trial! He was there! You bastard! He knows the truth! They're part of some organization, Cerberus, that runs secret tests like this. They treated me like a lab animal. This man deserves to die, Shepard. For you, for me, for everyone else in the unit. 
Are you with me? If what you're saying is true, then pull that trigger. I won't stop you. Mr. Toombs, please! We had no choice! I avenge them, Shepard. Our unit can finally rest in peace. I can finally let go. The vids say that you were the sole survivor of what happened at Akuz. Who am I to argue? Message coming in. Patching it through. I reviewed your report on the situation, Commander. It's unfortunate both the Doctor and Tombs died, but I know you did your best under the circumstances. I hope this helped you find some peace, Commander. Thank you. Fifth Fleet out. Freeze! Hanshan Security. This office is sealed. Laura Keane gave me a pass in. Keen? Are you working for him? He's under investigation. I don't have time for this. Get the hell out of here or I'll start shooting. You want to cause trouble? I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. No, I'm not. Are you? I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling, Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? What a load of crap. You're here off duty breaking the law for bribe money. If you want to fight, I'll give you one. You talk. I'm in the middle of nine things, all of them annoying. What do you want now? Your secretary is a plant for the executive board. Internal affairs, she said. Eh, that is good to know. Would you mind stepping outside? I'm afraid I will have to let Miss Parasini go. It can't wait. Your mind has not been fully on your duty to me. I don't understand, sir. I'm not losing this job. Analeas, if I don't report in, the board will figure it out. Put the weapon- I said I'm not losing this job! Mother of- Corporal, secure the area! Keep everyone out of here, now! Yes, ma'am. What happened here, Commander Shepard? Gianna was investigating Analeas' corruption. She worked for the executive board. He panicked, called her in, shot wildly. Yeah, makes sense. He was always paranoid. Excuse me, Commander. The death of an executive must always be filed in triplicate. Your mission ends here, Shepard. What the hell? She's surrounded by Geth and pointing a gun at us. Shoot her! You're not as stupid as you look. Weapons free! Enemy sighted! I'm sorry about this, Shepard. We've got orders from Venezia. Open fire!
this one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange, flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. This is going to be a fun conversation. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. You are not in harmony with those who hoped to control us. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? Commander, I don't trust this thing. We know it's kind or killers. The tank is rigged with acid. I recommend using it. She's the last of her race, Shepard. We don't have the objectivity to judge her. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us or return our people to the silence of memory. Make your peace with the galaxy. The Rachni are a dead race. Is our kind so frightening? You would seek our silence if you cannot muffle our songs? If you cannot have us as your obedient claws? This time, stay dead. We will not embrace the Great Silence! Very report raised a few eyebrows in the council, Shepard. I don't know what's funnier, you finding a species they thought they'd wiped out 2,000 years ago, or their reaction when they found out you finished them off. The Rachni were monsters. I couldn't let them live. I agree with you. I don't want giant telepathic insects running around in my galaxy, but you could have been more discreet. The council keeps throwing around words like genocide. I have to go calm them down. a little extreme, wasn't it? This is why you humans have such a violent reputation. Nice shot. Personally, I would have just thrown a rock at him. Guess the little beast had it coming. Remind me to stay on your good side, Commander. <sighs> Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. <laughs> I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogenic Database. I know what happened on a coups. This doesn't have to end like that. What do you think you're doing, John? Communications are back up. Exogenic wants this place purged. This is a human colony, John. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has. The Thorian. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus Hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. I won't let you hurt these people anymore. Drop your weapon, or be prepared to use it. 
If, if that's the way it has to be? Heck, come on, come on! As if we don't have enough problems. Now we're shooting each other in the back. So what now, Commander? I need to find out why the Geth are after the Thorian. The colonists won't let you near the Thorian. They die first. They're under its control. Anything that gets between me and my goal is fair game. There's gotta be another way. I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. I'm not stopping to ask them to breathe deeply. How can it hurt to try? Please, Commander. These are our friends. I'm not doing it. At least take the grenades, so you have the option. Do the right thing, Commander. Please. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. Keep those colonists away from the Normandy. Gun them down if you have to. Uh, we'll do, Commander. We'll fire off a few warning shots. That should send them running. We're leaving. But let's rid this place of those damn synthetics before we go. I don't know what that plant does to people, but that's not human. I want a clean sweep. Nothing hostile lives to take a second shot. What about the nerve grenades we acquired? We could potentially incapacitate the colonists. We don't have time to waste on these people. There's a galaxy at stake. All right. It's too bad there's no other way. They can't help themselves. wants me to stop you, but I won't! I won't! All right, we just need to find this creature and determine what it... What it... Kila, what is that? Nothing's ever simple, is it? Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You enslaved the colonists. You destroyed their minds. I don't know what Saren wanted with you, but I just want you dead. The Thorian is a piece of this world. Extending across the land and back through the ages. You can no more kill it than cut the sky. Your blood will feed the ground.
free. I... I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. You were allied with Saren. For all I know, you still are. I can't just let you walk away. Your suspicions are understandable. But you freed me from the Thorian and from Saren. I am on your side now. If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. You change sides too often. I have no choice. You must die. So be it. If this is the fate you feel I deserve, then I will not resist. You tried to do for us. Saved a few. It's more than most would have done. Anyway, thanks. We'll start again. Just not here. Rescuers? Oh, thank God. See? I told you somebody would come to investigate that signal. My name is Dr. Ross, Chief Exogeny Researcher at this facility. We've been trapped in this room for days. We're almost out of food and water. You got here just in time. Not so fast. First, you're gonna tell me why this place is overrun with Thorian creepers. How do you know about the Thorian? I know what Exogeny was up to. I saw what they let the Thorian do to those colonists, so I destroyed it. Our secret's out then. No point in my lying. You already know the worst. The creepers here were created using altered samples from the specimens on Pharos. We discovered a way to turn them into docile, obedient servants. Everything was going fine until a few days ago. Then all the creepers suddenly went berserk. Only a handful of us made it back into the safety of this room. What did you expect? You couldn't really believe those things were safe. We knew there were risks, but I thought we'd taken all the necessary precautions. I didn't mean for this to happen. Look, I know what we did here was wrong. I'll admit that. But it's over now. There's no sense reporting this to the authorities, right? Too many people died here. Their blood is on your hands. Be reasonable. I didn't mean for this to happen. Besides, how does it help anyone if I end up in jail? Normally, Exogeny would have my back, but it sounds like they're going to have their hands full cleaning up the mess on Pharos. But I've got money. A nice little emergency fund I set up. It's yours if you let us go. This isn't about money. It's about justice. Blood for blood. Uh, that's not going to happen. Open fire. Open fire! We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Salarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Elenko, you're with the captain. Keep it simple, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. We've got access to base security. We can put the alarms from here, maybe even trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. Elenko can take a few more. Minimize the guard presence in the base. I hope they're ready for this. What do you want? I told you everything. I... Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Nobody's going anywhere till I get some answers. Private Meno Savat of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG, sir. Captured well on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, sir. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? Can you help me, or will I be carrying you out of here? I'll be at your back every step of the way. I just need to get out of here and away from that incessant whispering. They've piped it in for days now. 
Something's not right here, Shepard. Setting him free could endanger the mission. No. No! I, I need to get out. This room is too small and it keeps talking and I really want to get out of here and get some work done. I need to get out. Let me out. Set him free. He could help us. Yes, sir. You'll find I am very good at following orders. I should be. I hear them over and over. Why are they repeated when they are so simple? So damn simple! Oh, you're not a Gath. And you're not wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. Lieutenant Gonto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? Everyone here is indoctrinated. You might be working for Saren. My whole team was... altered. But I was left alone as a control subject. And I still have my senses, although I almost wish I didn't. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envy them. If I let you up, how do I know you won't just attack me? It's obvious that I'm not crazed or drooling like the others. Let me out and I'll stay out of your way. Sorry, I can't take that chance. I'm not opening your cell. No, don't leave me here. Please. These look docile. Their minds are gone. Ah, oh, this is no way to treat a prisoner. Kill them, sure, but to leave them like this. Better to die than to live like this. It's all we can do for them. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. Everyone in this place is trying to kill me. Do I look like a soldier? I'm a neurospecialist, and this job isn't worth dying over. Or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you didn't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? You conducted brutal experiments on helpless test subjects. You helped Saren. You don't get to live. I just did what I was told. I didn't have a choice. I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't help your victims. No! No! Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, do you read me? The nuke is almost ready, Lieutenant. Get to the rendezvous point. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. Captain Kira, he's dead. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Hold tight. We're coming to get you. Chief, we have spotted a troop ship inbound to your location. It's already here, and is bleeding Geth all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? There's too many! I don't think we can hold them! I'm activating the nuke! What the hell are you doing, Williams? Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what! It's done, Commander. Go get the Lieutenant and get the hell out of here! Belay that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Williams! Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. Fight hard, Lieutenant. Die proud. Aye, aye, Commander.
Uh, any luck getting what I asked for? Here. This should take care of all your problems. Perfect. The Solarians will never see me coming. Here, this is for your trouble. What is... This isn't the stimulant. What did you give me? Humanity doesn't need drug addicts negotiating important deals. Get some rest. You bastard. You set me up, alien-loving scum. Sir, this is a restricted area. Sir, you can't... Freeze! Back away from the console! Hands up! Now! Get us out of here, Joker! Now! Aw, oh, damn it, no sign of pursuit? I was hoping the Council would send some ships after us. I was looking forward to putting the Normandy through her paces. Figured I'd get to see what this ship can really do. Saren's still out there. Maybe we'll get a chance to play hide-and-seek with Sovereign. You know, it doesn't seem like much fun when you say it, Commander. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms! Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. You were expecting someone else? We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you sure about this, Shepard? Human casualties will be very high if you send your fleet in now. This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. True. That's why you can't waste reinforcements trying to save the Council. You must hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension? Or hold back? Wait until those arms open, Joker. We need all our ships focusing on Sovereign, even if it means sacrificing the Council. You're willing to sacrifice the Council? I sure hope you know what you're doing, Commander. All Alliance ships, home formation. Wait for a shot at Sovereign. Nothing else matters. I repeat, nothing else matters. It's the Alliance! Open a comm channel! This is the Ascension. We're taking heavy damage. Guardian defenses are over... Kinetic barriers are offline! Commander... They closed the channel. We got your message, Ambassador. What's all this about? These are strange times, Captain. The battle with Sovereign changed everything, and we need to talk about what happened to the Council. Commander Shepard did the right thing. We had to hold our fleet back to go after Sovereign. It was the only way. I agree, but this also presents us with an opportunity. The Council is dead. The galaxy is looking for leadership. The Citadel fleets were decimated in the attack. The losses have made the Alliance stronger. If we step forward now, nobody will be able to stop us. You have a plan? The galaxy needs leadership. Real leadership. When a crisis hits, we can't be paralyzed by debate like the old Council. 
The new council must rule with a single voice. It must be assembled from one species alone, humanity. The rest of the galaxy isn't just going to bow down because we tell them to. The other species are scared. They've never faced anything like this before. They don't know what to do. They want us to step forward. They believe in humanity because of you. Your ruthless pursuit of Saren and the Geth, your defiance of the Council, that's what humans are capable of. That's how we can defeat the Reapers. The others will follow us, Shepard. They know we're their only hope. We will have a human council with a human chairman. The Ambassador's right. I may not like it, but we can't deny the truth. Given everything you've done, Commander, the Alliance will want to know who you think our chairman should be. We need someone who understands how politics really works. You've shown you know how to play this game. He is the logical choice. So what happens now? The Reapers are still out there. They're coming. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. We're headed for war with the Reapers. If we lose, it's the end of all life as we know it. And no other species in the galaxy truly understands what it will take to survive. The other races will have to follow our lead. We need to take control. It's time for humanity to rise up and seize its destiny.